Coach, what did you like the most about last night's game? Um, I, I thought offensively we were all over the net. Um, probably had our highest chances in the last month, uh, five on five. We shot pucks there. We got them back. Um, you know, the, the game, I think the score is probably a little closer than, than what it was. Um, you know, they scored some opportunistic goals. But the third period especially, I thought um, instead of sitting back, we were – we were staying on them, and, and if he doesn't make those saves, you know we could easily, you know, have six or seven. Uh, players post game last night and even this morning talked about greasy goals, scoring greasy goals. How many times did you use that word in describing what you wanted to see from your team? Well, I just think the, I call them ugly goals, but you just it, they all count. And you know, when you go to the net, and, and, and that's where most guys are scoring from. And you look at our goals last night. Everyone is right there, yeah. you know, including Brady. So it's, everything's under the hash and right near the net. And if you don't go there, you don't get those goals. It's something we've talked about. We haven't scored enough. Um, you know, we don't want to forget about the defensive side of it. But, but you have to score in this league, too. And I just thought we did a much better job. Good to start off the road trip with a full four-line effort last night. Absolutely. I think everyone's feeling good. Um, you know, it, when, you, when you win your first game on the road, um, you know, it tends to, to lighten everything up. Um, you know, we got a nice... You know, light practice day to day, um, and then a five o'clock game against the Cup champs tomorrow. So the guys will be excited. Um, they'll get to enjoy today in Colorado, and away we go. There were a few players who um, were deserving of the coveted goggles post game. Jake Sanderson gets them last night. Um, what do you think of his game and his being rewarded with those? Well, Hammer clearly stated that the goggles would stay with the D, and, oh. and, and I appreciate him giving it to his partner, and Jake was really good at two assists, uh, broke pucks out. That shot block at the end was outstanding. Um, for a young guy, he continues to get better. But there was plenty of guys. Kostelik easily um, could have could have put those on. That whole line was really good. Um, you know, and, I, and, and I thought the Pinto line um, played really well as well. I, I think Drake had a lot of chances. He missed the net, but he was on the goal. He did a lot of really good things. There's, so there's lots of, uh, of guys that, that could have had it, but it's great. When you have a choice, you mean, it means that many guys played well. You, you said to me after the first preseason game in Toronto, that first game of the doubleheader, it's going to be fun to see Jake Sanderson and his development after 41 games. Last night was 41. Yeah, I think there was a stretch of probably five or six games um, where he started to look a little tired there uh, before this last little break, and that was to be expected for a young guy. But for the amount of minutes and playing against the other team's top lines for, for a rookie defenseman, it, it really is incredible. Um, and, and how good he's going to be and how good he wants to be, um, you know, it's, it's going to be fun to watch him. You know, and, and the Ottawa fans, over the years, you've got yourself a, a defenseman that's going to be around for a long time. Anticipate from Colorado, a little banged up here. <coughs> We're banged. Everyone's banged up. Um, you know, we, we, no one cares. You know, if you're banged up or not banged up. We've had plenty of guys out. They have plenty of skill. McKinnon, Ranton, and um, McCarr, all those guys are in and they're playing and, and they can make plays and they can score goals. So it, it doesn't matter who you play. We have to do what we do, and we certainly are going to have to check hard, or they can burn you. Um, at the same point, we got to make sure we're climbing on their goalie and we're making them check us. We talk a lot about parity in the NHL. Is it a little different when you're playing against the reigning Stanley Cup champs? I think for them, you're, you're going to get most teams' best game. You know what I mean? I think you're on your toes when you've got a team that can score as much as they do, and 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 everyone plays the game to win the Stanley Cup, and 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 they're the ones that have it. And you know, when when a team goes in there, I think every coach and every player feels it. You know, they got to do what we all want to do. And, uh, and I think that's, you know, probably why everyone plays him so hard. What have you, like, well, I think we were talking to Drake earlier about skating with a guy like McKinnon. How can that help? Well, you just see, you watch what they do. You watch what they work on. You watch how hard they work. You, you, all the things, if you want to be the best, you know, the saying is you got to beat the best. Um, you know, if you want to be one of those guys, you got to do what they do. And you got to do it a little harder. And, you know, he has that advantage of Crosby, McKinnon, and, and, and Marchant. You know, it's invaluable to, to watch those guys play in the summer. I know you love coming back here because this was the site of your only <laughs> NHL goal. Can you just Glory days. take yeah. us through that again? I'll tell you, it's, it's the site of the only year that I was in the NHL. That's really what it is, 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 you know, I played in the minors. I grinded down there, fought for a living. And, uh, you know, it was the one year that I stayed in the NHL the whole year. And, uh, you know, I only, I think I played 33 games, but, you know, I never took a minute for granted. And, 
you know, it, it was it was just great to be a part of it. So, it, it, you know, for me, it's so exciting when I get an opportunity to call a guy up, like a Lucini or someone that's never played in the league. And I know that feeling, just how long you've grinded down there just to be a part of, of, of the best league in the world. You know, this place will always be special to me. And how old were you? Oh, I was. I think I was 25 or 26. Um, you know, I had played, I think, four or five years in the minors, um, countless uh, games or whatever it was. Um, and then I finally got Bob Hartley giving me my opportunity. Um, you know, and like I said, I only played 33 games, didn't play a lot. I did what I had to do, but I was uh, the happiest guy to play 33 games on that lineup, I guarantee it. Well, I was going to say to you, like, you understood your role, right? And, and, and. Yeah, I was the sixth like, defenseman at, at behind Blake, Skula, um, uh, Adam Foote, uh, Derek Morris, uh, Greg DeVries. And my job, you know, essentially back then was to take care of the guys. <laughs> and, um, you know, I did whatever I had to do. Um, I don't regret it. Um, you know, I had an opportunity to play in the National Hockey League, and that's what, you know, when you're a young kid, that's what you're striving for, and, and I got an opportunity to do it here. And I mean, that's a story you can pass along to these guys too, right? Well, I just sometimes I'll joke on the bench when I when I'll lean down and say to a guy like Timmy or Brady, you know, I I think you should do this, and then I, I'll 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 finish the phrase with, but then again, I was a minor leaguer my whole career, so maybe you're better than I am and do what you do. <laughs> <laughs> but it was a what was it again that goal? It was five nothing. Yeah, it was 5 nothing. They let me off the bench, and I threw a sifter in from distance, went through about five people and went in on Mark Denis. Mark Denis. Hey, but uh, you know what? My son's got the puck, and one went in. Fantastic. That was the year Mark Denis was good. Yeah, well, not that night. Um, do you expect him, uh, Joseph, for this No, trip uh, not available. I don't know about this trip, but not available for tomorrow. Um, so we're going to go with the same crew. Uh, Drake, new line mates last night. How did you feel the first game went? Yeah, it was really fun. Obviously, uh, I said before the game, uh, G was a guy I looked up to growing up. Uh, I remember watching a lot of Flyers games, uh, you know, a right-handed centerman. That's what I was growing up, and unbelievable playmaker. So I wanted to model my game after him, and, uh, you know, I, I sit beside him in the dressing room, thought that was pretty cool, and got to play with him last night. So it's pretty amazing, and now we're now we're friends. So it's, it's funny looking back, but, no, it was great playing with uh, – uh, him and Pins uh, had a few chances, so hopefully uh, we can bury a few next game or games to come. Happy to start the road trip out with a big win. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's a huge road trip, like I said. Uh, big point in the year for us, I think. So it's fun getting on the road with the guys, and, uh, yeah, obviously a huge win last night in Arizona. Looking forward to playing uh, against a fellow East Coaster tomorrow, Nathan McKenna. Yeah, no, absolutely. It's always a, always a good battle against these guys, um, you know, especially last year. I think we... Got a nice big win at home against them. Um, so hopefully it'll be a good game tomorrow. Obviously, they're the defending champs uh, for a reason. They're a good team. So no, we'll, we'll be ready to go. And, uh, yeah, looking forward to the matchup against uh, Nate for sure. How much have you learned from skating with a guy like him and Crosby and just the work they put in? Yeah, it was huge. I mean, I got to skate with them uh, right after I got drafted. And I think uh, I made my biggest strides skating with those guys in the summer, just learning from them. Um, got to train with them every day for the last uh, two years and see what kind of work they put in. Um, they've, they've both uh, won at this level, so it's pretty fun every day just learning, uh, getting things from their games, and uh, it's uh, even better uh, going head-to-head -head against them on the ice. What, what separates them from like, like a guy like McKinnon from other people that you've watched? Yeah, I think just his drive. I mean, uh, he won the Stanley Cup last year. I think he took two weeks off, and he's right back. Uh, in the gym and skating so I think it's just his drive to get better and, and to win both those guys everything is about winning uh, same with Marshall too so no it's pretty cool just just I mean Sid especially he's won everything he could win and obviously Nate won the cup last year and they're still just so hungry to go get another one so it's pretty inspiring uh, seeing those guys like that just when did you go to McKinnon's Stanley Cup party yeah I was yeah. there yeah Stood pretty far away from the cup, but uh, no, it was really fun. Uh, he had it for two days, so I was there for both days, and uh, seeing him uh, celebrate with it uh, made me pretty jealous, and uh, just wanted to, wanted to, for me to win one one day. I think it'd be pretty awesome. Well, it, it must have been neat, Drake, to see that firsthand, right? 
Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, uh, he had a few of his teammates there, so just to hear about the stories throughout the playoff runs and uh, you know the ups and downs, the roller coasters of a playoff, it's it's pretty cool. And uh, you know the feeling they said of winning it is just uh, insane. So you know to be able to maybe uh, do that one day would be be pretty awesome. And uh, you know it was a pretty cool day seeing them uh, celebrate for sure. Derek, obviously, a good way to start the road trip. Yeah, we played well yesterday. Uh, there's there's some things that we talked about this morning that we can improve. Um, yeah, it was a good bounce back for our team after two losses. Uh, we've been playing some good hockey before that, and we want to start uh, the road trip on the on the right track here. We know uh, the next two opponents are pretty tough, and it's never easy to come and play here. And uh, they're they're the Stanley Cup champ, so and they lost the last game as well, so they'll be ready to play and. Uh, Tomorrow was a five o'clock game, so we just uh, we had an optional practice today, and uh, we're going to try to keep the energy high. Other than uh, the Avalanche themselves here, what are the other difficulties that a team faces playing here? Uh, I mean, it's uh, you know you're 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 trying to get as much hair as you can on uh, on the ice. Um, they have a good team, obviously with McKinnon, Rantanen. I know they're missing Landis Cog, but still McCarr is, on, is out there, and they have a good team. They play fast. They that's the reason why they won that um, last year, and you know tomorrow we're gonna have to have our skating legs and making sure that we're we're playing behind them, and it's gonna be a big challenge for our team. You you had mentioned talking about last night's game at the morning meetings today here, identifying certain things that you need to improve. On. Can you share any of that? Uh, I mean, yeah, it's just the uh, you know the way we. Uh, we're trying to create more offense, obviously five on five. And yesterday we did a good job. We went in, in front a lot, and uh, we want to score those, uh, you know, the dirty goals and all the goals that they're getting scored on every night in the NHL. They're they're not like pretty, and uh, not all of them. And yesterday we did a good job. There's a lot of traffic in front of our nets, and we're trying to get some rebounds. And you know, the Brinkett's goal uh, that's a perfect example. A couple of rebounds and. Uh, yeah, just like it's not pretty at all, but at least it, it counted and we won the game. Uh, but yeah, that's that's something we've been addressed the last few days, trying to, to create more foul on five and be more dangerous. Derek, a physical game yesterday from start to finish. How important is it in these road games and tomorrow even uh, to establish that part of your identity? Yeah, I, th I don't know the exact stats, but I think we're one of the teams that hits the most in the league. There's a few guys that, that, that can do that. Um, but yeah, I think it's just when we're, when we're skating and we're forechecking, I think that's a big part of our team. We can create offense from that, from the forecheck. Um, and, you know, good players, you know, if you give them time and space, they're going to do some, some, some stuff out there, and we're going to try to limit that tomorrow. Nice to see Mark Kaslik pot the game winner on, yeah. on home ice. Yeah, it's always nice. He was, uh, after the first period, he was like kind of admitting that he was a little bit nervous because his entire family was there. and. It's it's the same thing for every player that goes plays in their hometown, and it was nice for him to score a goal in front of his family. And you can see the not a relief, but he was like pretty happy after, after his goal. And I think everyone he had a strong game too. I think that was just a, a I think they got a, he, he got rewarded for that the great play that he had like entire game. He was intense and he, he was all over the place and starting with faceoffs. Derek, you only come to places like you know Arizona, these places like this once. Are you trying to kind of take this all into? Yeah, I mean, it's it's not a teams that we're we're seeing a lot, and we're not, you know, we're going to see them two times in, in one in the entire season. Well, yeah, it's just uh, for us, we're all in like for pretty much every game now on, and uh, we're trying to claim back in the standings. Um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's I, a I huge mean, from a personal standpoint. Oh, personal? Uh, yeah, I, I, don't I, know. I mean, I came here for a cup of coffee, so. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't here long enough. It's a, it's a great place to play. It's a great town, and uh, um, yeah, it's a, it's, it's unbelievable place. And but yeah, I wasn't there long enough to to feel like I'm. I know I miss this place, and this place is special for me. Um, the Rangers, special place, Columbus, and Ottawa. So, with all the teams I played for. How would you assess your game at the halfway point of the season? Um, like personally, yeah, I mean, uh, pretty good. I mean. I feel like, I mean, I feel like I've said this all the time, but I feel like I learned something in every game, whether it's um, in my own zone or trying to do different stuff on the ice. So, um, yeah, it's definitely a learning curve from last year, but um, I feel like I'm, I'm doing a pretty good job. Obviously, there's ups and downs during the season, but kind of just got to stay confident and stay level. Can you learn as the game goes on? 
like during a game. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Um, it's, it's it's pretty nice too to have those iPads on the on the bench too. Um, that's the first time I've had that. So um, in the TV timeout, sometimes I look at stuff quick. So um, it's always nice to see that. What did it mean to you after the game to get the coveted goggles? <laughs> yeah, it was cool. Not a lot of us D men get it, so uh, it was nice to hammer to hand them off to me. But um, no, it was, it was a good game. Cassie obviously had a great game. His his line was on fire. So um, yeah, I mean, I was pretty happy I got him. But uh, I'm gonna try to keep him on the decor for next game too. What do you like about the, the iPad? I found that interesting. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I watch all my games after um, the game's done on my phone, but um, it's nice to have the iPad, whether you're looking on power play, <laughs> whether you're looking on the power play and you want to see something quick, see how they're killing and stuff. So um, you can just look at it right away um, and know for next time, which is really nice. You looking forward to tomorrow night's challenge? Yeah, I am. It'll be an awesome game. Um, I think it was a good idea that I skated today just to get the elevation. Um, okay. Set. I, I heard it's kind of difficult playing in that ring, so I um, wanted to get a sweat in today and feel good tomorrow. I'm guessing you keep a, maybe you don't, uh, an eye on a guy like Cal, Kale McCarthy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, I do. Um, I know Kale. Um, we have the same agent, and he's from Calgary, too, so uh, I skated with him a couple times uh, a few summers ago, and um, I've obviously followed him basically his whole career, just seeing him um, go up through college and um, just dominate the NHL right away. So it's cool to see a guy like that have have great success. And um, you know, I try to model um, some parts of his game uh, to mine. Did you play DU? In, in, did I? Yeah. Like, yeah. Did you played here with. Did yeah, I did. DU, yeah. Uh, my first year, um, there was no fans though, but we did play uh, Denver. Um, my first year, yeah, we came down here. It's pretty nice. Pretty nice area. So.